Y'all gotta pay for trash pickup? Because... It's not that I don't want you here yeah. It's not about the way you said it to my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist you You can get away Palm trees, beach views, with an everyday All I wanna hear is in the business I replay Right next to you Hey y'all, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Countdown to Closing Day. I feel like I'm starting a lot of videos in my car these days and that is not, <laughs> today it's not actually because I'm going anywhere, it's because it's so dark in the house that, yeah, the lighting is so bad in there. Um, So I just wanted to come out here and tell y'all what's happening today. Y'all, it's so early, it's like 7 a.m., probably not even 7 a.m. yet. 651. First of all, let's recap yesterday. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, please go back and watch it. Support your girl. But um, so yesterday I found I did some like browsing in some stores. We got updates about the house and we also found some pendant lights. So go back and watch that for all the details. When I got home yesterday, I started doing making a list of all the things we need to buy now that we are officially cleared or will be cleared in three days once you sign your closing disclosure you have three days from that date to actually be able to close so technically yesterday we signed it so today sunday monday monday is when we can like officially close but we don't close until friday of next week so when i got home i was just like making a list of everything that we need to get because it's a long list <laughs> if you're new we're not taking pretty much anything from our exist from the house we have now we're buying everything brand new we're completely starting over from scratch so here is my list of everything we got to get and a lot of it is already in my amazon cart a lot of it is coming from amazon so i'm just gonna flash stuff up on the screen right here as i read it off um and then y'all can just uh hold up where did my list go no okay i cannot Okay, I'm about to remake my list and I'll get right back with y'all because I don't know what the heck it disappeared, but let me remake it. Okay, I'm back. That took a minute. Okay. So here's the list. I'm about to read it off to y'all. All of the products will just be I'll flash them up right here on the screen. Um and almost everything is coming from Amazon. So everything is gonna be in my Amazon store. I'm gonna start linking my Amazon store in my description box now, moving forward, and I'll just add all the stuff that I buy to that store. So if there's anything that's from Amazon, <clears throat> it'll be in my Amazon store from, from now on. So the first thing we need is a vacuum <laughs> and then a mop. I'm not gonna, I wanna go in day one having already having a vacuum, a mop, and a carpet cleaner and a broom and like just all the cleaning supplies that I would need cleaning uh equipment that I would need because they're going to be eating my kids are going to be eating in there starting on day one and I just want to make sure that if they spill something if they whatever they're going to do something I already know I know that it's coming so I just want to be prepared and have all that stuff already ready to go and that way when it happens I, it's not a big deal broom and dustpan I haven't picked out a broom yet I'm still kind of trying to get a good one a vacuum can kind of like function as a broom too so that's not like a huge deal and then a carpet cleaner I picked that out the one that I chose actually I'll just wait until I actually get it and unbox it and then I can tell y'all all the features and stuff because it's really cool and then um mattresses so I got all I think I have all four kids mattresses in the cart I'm still kind of deciding on King's mattress because I didn't know if I wanted to do a queen for him or a full. I know I want to do a queen, but he's going to be in my office until we finish the basement. And my office is, is obviously not as big as the bedroom that he's going to have in the basement. <clears throat> so I'm just afraid that it's going to be a little bit cramped. It's still like maybe 10 by 11. My office is still kind of big and it's still definitely big enough to be a bedroom, but he also needs like a desk in there and stuff like that. So um, I need to, I mean, I tried to do it, I measured it virtually, but yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and just let him get the queen now, because there's. I'm not going to buy a full and then upgrade him to a queen later, because I won't have anywhere to put that full mattress. So I'm just going to go ahead and get him a queen. So yeah, all the mattresses are in the cart. Mattress protectors are also in the cart. 
box springs. I picked those out. Pillows, I'm still trying to find pillows that I want to buy. What I think I might do is just when we do that like in-store shop after closing, I think I might just get the pillows in person. And then we need some kind of covers because we're going to be on air mattresses for the first night or two. Um, my plan is to order all this stuff from Amazon on the day before we close. And that way we should get it the day after we close. If the two-day shipping works how it's supposed to. I'm going to um, put it in two days before and see what the sh if the shipping date is the 10th. Two days before. And it's just going to take three days. Then I'll do that because we close on the 9th. So if I go on Amazon on the 8th and no. I'm not going to do that because I'm ordering all this stuff together. It's all in the cart together. So I'm just going to wait until the day before. No, because then I won't have it on the day of. I haven't figured out the logistics, y'all. I'm, I'm still kind of working on it. And I know things don't always come at the same time. I just don't want things to be being delivered while we are um, like walking through and stuff like that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> They're going to be like, girl, you already getting deliveries and we ain't even closed yet. I don't want that to happen. So... I may need to like break up my because typically it gets broken up anyway so what I may need to do is like get to the point of the checkout process where it breaks everything down and you see when each shipment is going to come and then like remove all the stuff that's going to come earlier and only buy the stuff that's going to take a little bit longer and then buy the stuff that's going to take a little bit that's going to come sooner next day hopefully that made sense but yeah um so pillows we need some kind of covers i am doing duvets so i wanted to so i gotta i'm still looking for like some good duvets so i don't have that yet flatware i think we're gonna get that at target i do need to like check amazon though just to make sure that there's nothing that that i don't see anything that i want there more um glasses i know my husband found some glasses he liked on at target and then the ones that I think I'm going to order on Amazon are the ones that look like soda cans. And I want to get the ones with the tops and the glass straws. One, because they're really cute. And two, because that'll help the kids not spill stuff. <laughs> if they have a, top, a cup with a lid. My mom was like, get them cups with lids. <laughs> I was like, they don't need to be drinking anywhere except in the kitchen. So, yeah. they they Y'all help me when it comes to these kids. Um, so, yeah. Glasses. And then a cutting board. I chose this cutting board because I like the fact that it's a big surface and then you can um, cut up your veggies and then scoot them into the little plastic container. It falls down into the hole, drops into the plastic container, and then you just take that container out, put it in a different spot under the cutting board, put another clean plastic container under the hole, and then you can chop your next kind of veggie. So it keeps everything separate, makes it super easy for you to like do the whole process of prepping um and i think that's just like the most efficient cutting board i've ever seen plus it has attachments for grading and stuff like that so it kind of takes care of a few different things so i really like the idea of that so that's the cutting board i'm getting knives i have not bought a knife set yet what i think i might do is just go back to ross and grab one from there because they have quite a few i might do that today i might just do that um before i go back in Actually, I think they close, open at 8. Yeah, I think they might open at 8. I might do that. And that way I could go. Because I saw um, quite a few knife sets in there. And they were only like $20 for like the Masterclass knife sets. Um, my eyes itching. Um, so yeah, let's do that this morning. And then cookware. Um, I'm still like on the fence about it. I have some in my Amazon cart. But I'm not sold. So I don't know what I'm doing about that yet. I'm still kind of figuring it out. This is what's in my cart. If I buy it, it'll be in my store. If not, let me know if y'all want the link and I can link it down below. Also came out here to find my purse and I don't see it. So I guess it's in the house. Uh, what else? Okay, cookware, bowls. I have one set of bowls. There's four bowls in that black and white dish set, but four is obviously not, obviously not enough. There's four kids, two adults, so yeah, we need at least six bowls. Um, so I'm gonna I need to buy some more bowls and then beds. I've only got one bed so far, um, and that is Corey's bed, Kane's bed. I found one I really really like, like fell in love with it, y'all. 
But then I realized that it's a queen. And I've been like doing Google searches, trying to find another one that's similar, that looks... What I realized is that this bed is a West Elm dupe. But I really don't want to pay like $900, $1,000 or more for his bed. So I'm like, what do I do? Do I get the... Do I just upgrade him to a queen? And then he'll have less floor space in his room. Don't really want to do that either. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But yeah, I'm still very much deciding on beds because that's kind of an important thing that's going to be the focal point in the room. I don't know. So yeah, it's on my list, but it doesn't have to happen day one. So as long as they have mattresses and box springs, they'll be fine um, until I actually pick out a bed that I love. And then ceiling fans, those are in our cart. These are like bladeless ceiling fans. They have, they're smart and they have Alexa and then they also have LED lights. So my plan, my plan is to, well, my, our plan, cause my husband is going to be in, in charge of all the tech and the smart home stuff. Um, and we have one hub that's going to be in, it's like the main hub and it's going to be connected to the doorbell camera and all that stuff. And then we're going to do another hub upstairs for Alexa because the one downstairs doesn't do doesn't have Alexa. So what we're going to do is because the ceiling fans have Alexa, we're going to get an Alexa device and then we'll be able to communicate with the ceiling fans through the Alexa device and then we'll be able to also operate it from our phones. Um, so what we're going my plan is to set up some kind of nighttime routine for each kid. It'll be an individualized night routine. So that way that um, the um, the Alexa device can play some calming music at night. It can also um, sync the lights with the music, the LED lights, and then like it'll change the temperature of the lighting and the turn the lights down and stuff or turn the lights off at a certain time, stuff like that. You can kind of play with it and decide how you want, what you want your, your routine to be and then it'll do whatever you set it to do. So yeah, those are the ceiling fans and then I got I need to get a step stool for Corey because she cannot reach the sink. She needs to be able to like wash her hands, brush her teeth, all that kind of stuff. And then glass cleaner because we have a ton of windows. And I've honestly, I've seen Sprayway so many times on YouTube, but I've never seen it in person ever. So I want to try it. We have so many windows in this new house. Literally, there's like six, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen 11, 13, 14, 16 windows on the main level. And in our house, in our house right now, we have three windows on the main level <laughs> and a sliding glass door. So, oh, and we got a sliding glass door, 16 windows and a sliding glass door on the main level in this new house versus three and a sliding glass door in the house we live in right now. So we gonna need, we're going to need a ton of, of uh, glass cleaner. And this is the one I'm picking. They have the 12 pack and then they also sell it in singles. Yeah. So that's everything that's on my list right now. <clears throat> man I sound like a gremlin in the morning but y'all I'm trying to get stuff done so yeah that's what's happening today I am just gonna be like making sure everything is in my cart and ready to go and then I'm gonna have to ask my mom to pay for it because they were like you don't need, don't buy anything major before you close you know don't spend a lot of money blah blah, blah. no major purchases so what I'm going to do is ask her to pay for it. And then I'll just, as soon as we get the keys, I'll just send her the money right back. Because we obviously can't buy anything big before we close. I don't want to jeopardize closing in order to buy stuff. But I also don't want to wait to buy stuff. Because, yeah, we also need to order the washer and dryer. Yesterday when I checked it, it said it would be delivered on the 9th. If I ordered it, it was actually last night. <clears throat> and then when I checked it again this morning, it was still saying it will be delivered at 9 a.m. I mean, on the 9th. So I think I need to order it tomorrow, and then it'll be delivered on the 10th. So, yeah. Hopefully I'm making sense, y'all. I'm trying to just, like, line everything up perfectly so things are all delivered on the 9th or the 10th. But the only problem with things being delivered on the 9th is that I'm not sure what time they're going to be delivered. We have clo we have a walkthrough at nine for like our final our final walkthrough. Is at like nine and then we go to closing at eleven and then or eleven forty five or something like that. 
and then we'll get the keys and then we'll be able to go back to the house. The closing is also in the city that we live in, that we're moving to. So it shouldn't be too far, but I don't want like Samsung to be coming with the washer and dryer and trying to install it while we're at closing because there's really no way to know what time people are coming. And as y'all know, whenever you are like in a rush to get something, they make you wait all day. But when you are not in a rush and you're like, take your time, that's when they're going to come in the morning. So I'm like, mm, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so I just want them to come exactly on the 10th. So we'll have our washer and dryer installed by the day after closing, which is a Saturday. Hopefully they do it on Saturdays. <sighs> I got my ice coffee recipe down to a science, so I'm sure it's good. Mmm! Just made a mess. Some other things that I bought were, and that we will need like day one, are towels, washcloths, um, shower curtains. Ooh, I ordered shower curtain liners, but I need to add um, shower curtain rings to my list. This car is so loud, all of a sudden, gonna have to get it serviced. I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. Y'all, this car is so old. But obviously a house was more important than a car, so we have been putting off buying a new car. Plus we want electric cars. So we have not, um, it's probably gonna be another, uh, at least another year before we can get another car. So we need to take care of this one. <laughs> so we don't end up having to buy what we don't want. Oh, and when it comes to packing um, the actual like stuff that we're taking, so like all of the clothes and not necessarily shoes, but like all the clothes, we're putting all of the all of the clothes in um, airtight bags, so or vacuum seal bags. So all of the kids' clothes that are that they're not going to be using for the next week are already packed up and they're in like this really big bag that I then just zipped up and vacuum sealed and that way it's compressed and it's easy for us to transport it to the new house without it being in boxes because ain't nobody got time for all them daggone boxes. Running out of space on my camera so I need to, I guess I could just take some stuff off this camera. But yeah, that's it, bye. I want some black dishes, but I don't want them to be shiny. I want them to be matte, so I'm gonna leave those. If they didn't have this blue thing, these would be perfect. They're so cute. Except for that. <laughs> I'm bad looking. I want to see if they have the master class ones.
Okay, so I decided not to get the knives. Um, went online, found something I like a lot better. Oof, and I'll show y'all when I get in the car. Another thing I need to add to my list, baking sheets. Let me see how much these are. Okay, so I decided not to get the knife set. I found one on, did I say that already? I found one on Wayfair that I, that I like. And then I found another one at Home Goods that was even cheaper. So this is the one from Wayfair. This is the one from Home Goods. I think I'm going to order the one from Home Goods because I like the aesthetic of it better. I like the colors. Um, dang, this car is loud. Oh my gosh. We have an appointment on Tuesday for the mechanic to come and look at it. But um, what else? On, oh yeah. So then while I was in Ross, oh wait. So then I also saw they had a tasty cookware set. It was the cast aluminum cookware set, the 10 piece one. For $50 which is a really good price then I looked online at Walmart that's where they normally sell it at and it was $80 at Walmart but and I went back and forth about it I was like should I get it because it was you know a good price and I'm sure it's good cookware but I just really didn't want blue it was blue it's like a almost somewhere between a royal blue and a navy blue like a this is what it looks like <laughs> Um, but I don't know. I just didn't want one blue and I was like, it's not worth saving I would rather have the color cookware that I want because I might have to use this for like the next couple years most likely and I just didn't want to get something I really didn't love so I decided to leave it even though I would have saved a little bit of money I'm gonna order the one from Amazon. I think um, Unless I find something else better between now and when I need to be placing all of these orders So I left that the only thing I actually bought was the two what are these called cookie sheets that I showed y'all so I got I got two of them they were only seven dollars so that was fourteen dollars for both the one that I was looking at in Target was fifteen dollars it was bigger um but it was fifteen dollars for one so I decided to go ahead and just get two that way I can roast on both rocks in one oven it's the next day oh my gosh I look worse than I thought I did. My hair had the windows down. And my hair was blowing everywhere. Um, I brushed it before I left the house, or combed it before I left the house. But it doesn't look like it. But anyway, so yesterday, nothing really happened after I, since the last time I talked to y'all. I edited it yesterday, got a video up. And that was it. Today is officially five days until closing. And tomorrow is inspection day but nothing is happening like I came out of the house because I was feeling like I made the mistake of staying in bed way too long I woke up at like 5 this morning and I didn't get out of the bed until 9 something and I always don't feel good when I do that so I knew better but I did it anyway just grabbed the iced coffee but this is what I want to talk to you about because I'm clearly at this point just combining both days because nothing really happened yesterday but what I want to talk to you about is those of you that live in Virginia or wherever you live that's not Maryland because in Maryland we don't have this or at least not in PG County y'all gotta pay for trash pickup because I didn't know that was a thing like I've never heard of that and maybe it's because like once you leave city limits like once you're out of the suburbs and out of the city Maybe that's when that kind of stuff starts to come into play. But what the heck? Yeah, I have to find a company to pick up my trash and recycle and pay them to do it. So I started this process on Friday. Um, just calling different places and trying to figure out who can come and pick the trash up. Um, but there are several options. Well, the first one... The one that's like the most, the easiest to access, of course, is the one that literally has one star on Google reviews. Literally, there's nothing but one star reviews on this place. People say that they they are paying for a service. They don't come like when they're supposed to. They come whenever they feel like it, maybe once a month to pick up their trash. And they're supposed to come once a week. It's a mess. So I was like, yeah, not even going to go down that road. And then there was another place I called, but the number online, when you look them up, like just the number that comes up on Google, on Google was, why can't I say that? On Google, Google, 
the number on Google was um what's the not in service and then I kept looking got found their website and then found a number that worked left a message and I wait I'm still waiting for a return call because that was on Friday evening um, and now it's Sunday I got a headache from laying in bed for too long and not like eating and stuff or getting up and moving around that happens to me almost every time I do it every time I do that um but it's a mild one so I'm hoping that having my iced coffee and all that will help oh my gosh I'm like tired I can't um and then yesterday I was looking at cookware I showed y'all a couple knives knife sets that I was looking at both of which had terrible re or didn't have that great of reviews um and I really didn't want a knife block on my counter anyway so I was like trying to find knife sets that didn't come in a block at first but that wasn't really working out and then I was like maybe I'll just get rid of the block and buy this knife set but then that also um I don't even have a trash service yet so I'm like I don't want to have any more stuff to throw away than I already do um like in the beginning so then I found a little knife set on Amazon no on uh, Walmart which is a brand that I have been wanting to try anyway time and table so they make a three-piece knife set which is really all I need because honestly all I use as far as knives go is like a chef's knife that's what I use like every day and then I use a paring knife which is if I'm cutting like strawberries or peeling potatoes or something and then I'll have a, uh, also a vegetable peeler um but like in my normal everyday life I don't use 10 different knives so I'm like I don't really need that so I added that one to my Walmart cart and as far as the cookware I showed y'all the one from Tasty that they had at Ross I didn't like the color but so I got back online yesterday started looking at more cookware sets but I, I mean I wanted white I wanted it to be look a little bit more upscale they have a couple options on Amazon none of which I'm thrilled with so then it's like should I pay a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty dollars or hundred and eighty dollars for something I don't really want or should I just wait and get what I really want later on and maybe just get something for now so that's why I'm back at Ross because I'm thinking about going back in there and just grabbing the one the um tasty set because it's fifty dollars it's a nice set it just wasn't the color I wanted so I could always you know give it to somebody else later on once I decide to go ahead and splurge excuse me on the caraway set that I really want or either maybe a green pan set I don't know they're the same price they're both $400 but I'm not really trying to pay that much money right now for a cookware set so I'm like just kind of ready to hold off um yeah so that is where I'm at that's what I'm probably about to go do and I checked the washer and dryer today it's saying it's still saying it's going to be delivered on the 9th so I'm assuming that tomorrow it'll say a different day and then I'll be able to order it because again I don't want it to be delivered on the same day that we're actually doing the walkthrough and all that because I'm afraid that it'll come too early and we won't be done with actually closing until probably like one so I don't want it to come before that and then we got to drive back to the house after closing so yeah closing day is gonna be a long day I think that's it I have most of the stuff that I need added to my cart trying to decide if I want to do a cordless not a cordless a not a jet mop well I guess it is a jet mop but like a electric mop or if I want to actually buy a mop and bucket which I don't <laughs> so yeah another thing that I added to my Amazon cart was sealer grout sealer that's another thing that I we have to do on closing day um which is another reason why I'm going to need a mop and some kind of mop so that we can clean the floors before we seal them or there's only really one floor to seal uh, which is the floor in our bathroom the kids did not get the kids did not get um tile floors they got vinyl floor so theirs is fine we have to seal their tub though or their um yeah we have to seal the tile that's around their tub we have to seal the tile that's in our shower we have to seal all of the tile around our tub because y'all know our whole tub is tiled and then we have to seal our whole floor and the bathroom is big and i think you have to do it like two coats so that's going to take a couple hours to get all that done so we need to be doing that on closing day so that we can start using the bathroom 
um, and taking showers and stuff and it won't the grout won't get all nasty and the water won't be seeping into it and it won't be getting all dirty and gross so that is another thing that I was thinking about yesterday and just preparing for so I already added the grout sealer to my cart just so I won't forget to get it I think it might be cheaper at like a Lowe's or Home Depot plus I needed to actually be I needed to actually have it in my hand on that day um I'm overwhelmed <laughs> I definitely feel like the stress of it all starting to like bubble up but I'm trying to just calm down oh I also put some um, a table and chair set in my cart just like a folding like a card table and folding chairs just so that we'll have some furniture in the like breakfast room area for the kids to like eat at and stuff because we won't have bar stools or counter stools yet we don't have a table and the table that I want is out of stock until October 26th so we won't have a table for quite a while it's probably gonna be almost two months before we get a table and then um, we don't have a couch because I already know I'm ordering the couch so there's just we need somewhere to eat so that was another thing that I needed to like plan for but then I, it was a good thing too because we can also just save that table and chair set for entertaining in the future and we can always store it in the basement um, until we finish the basement um, and then at that point it can go into some kind of storage area that will also be in the basement so there's a lot to consider I'm also thinking about pest control like do we need to have a, an exterminator come out like in that first week to make sure that there aren't any like mice and stuff like that they built our house in the middle of the woods <laughs> like this was all wooded land before um, before we got before they started developing it and then it's a fairly new development it's only a couple years a few years old and then our house is in the more wooded part of they left a lot of the woods where our house is so there's gonna be much more wildlife out there where we live and there's gonna be most likely I don't know but I just don't want any I don't want any visitors I don't want any friends to come and try to hang out so I'm like thinking about that and just kind of trying to decide if we should be hiring ex an exterminator to come and just kind of rodent and bug proof the house I might just go back on Bed Bath & Beyond's website and order like that cookware that matches the one I just bought the other day that's another option and that way I can have the look that I want Wait, is that Bad Bath & Beyond around here? Besides that one in Crofton? Maybe I'll go there today. And just put another email address in and get another coupon. And go buy that cookware. Plus, I wanted to see if they had another, another one of those shower curtains. Yeah, maybe I'll go there. And I'm trying not to eat out so much. I'm trying to, like, chill and eat the rest of the food that's in the house. But every time I go to Virginia, I always want to go to Uncle C's because it is so good. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, girl. <laughs> Have y'all seen that? I'm not going to do it. I did it. <laughs> okay, so we made it. Let me show y'all a couple things that I'm seeing that are nice. So, first of all, this mirror is really nice. I have no idea how much it is, but also I do know that there's one at Walmart that's pretty similar. I actually have it in my Walmart cart. Um, and this one's heavy. I think it may be intended to uh, just kind of lean up against the wall. Let me stop before I break this thing. I felt like it was going to come out that box. Okay. What? Oh, this is cute. Let me turn that. Okay. Also. I wanted to show y'all this vase. What do y'all think about this? I'm trying to find a white vase to go on top of the island. So let me know what y'all think about this one. Don't know that I'm like thrilled with the browns that are in it, like the tan, beigey kind of colors. I don't know. Gonna keep looking, but it's really one of the only ones I've seen so far. I haven't really seen a lot of them. This base is cute. I don't know how I feel about the stems, but the base is cute. Alright, let's look for the shower curtain. 
There we go. Oh wait, is this shower curtains or is that shower curtains? Are they both shower curtains? Oh, there they go, 70% off. Let's see if they have another one of the gauze shower curtains. They have way more here than they did at the other one. Rows and rows. So here's the gauze, but I don't see any more white ones. Honestly, oh, that's something different, color block. I was gonna say, honestly, the um, normal price isn't even bad, like the just the regular price without it being on sale. Here's the rug that I got the other day. I got four, ooh, should I get one more? Should I get one more? Hmm. No, I'm not gonna get any more, I'ma wait. All right, uh, let's just see if they have any more of the white gauze shower curtains. There's one more Bed Bath & Beyond in this area that I can go to to find it. If they don't, I mean, since they don't have it here. Not that they will have it there either, but I can check. Um, what else did I come here for? Oh, the pots and pans. <laughs> I was just sitting here like, wait, is that the only thing I came for? Because why would I drive all the way here for that one thing? No, I gotta go look at the pots and pans. And I went ahead and put a new email address in, got another um, coupon. So I can get my 20% off today. I'm almost to the cookware, but I wanted to show y'all a couple of things. First of all, these are cute, but $10 for one is kind of, kind of expensive right um and then i think i'm gonna get an espresso i know my husband i know bernie wants a keurig so we're gonna get him a keurig we're gonna get a keurig for the house um on closing day but then i think i want to get an espresso um at some point i'm trying to decide if i really want it or if it's just trendy <laughs> um but this is i don't think that this is the one that I was gonna get. I can't, I think it's the one with just like the button on top that you press. And I don't think they have it here. What is the other one called? Is it the Virtuo and the what else? I don't know y'all. They sell it at Target. I saw it at Target the other day. Um. A cool little popcorn popper. I don't need it, but it's cool. Here is the pot. I think I'm gonna get, oh wait, five quarts. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab this. And then the pans are over there. I'm just waiting for those people to finish up and then I'll go grab one. Also gonna get a small white pot and then a set of the, um, do they have white? They don't have white. I'm gonna have to go to the other location to get the white. Oh, so I got this one already. But they didn't have this in the other store that I went to. It's fine, I'm gonna keep the one I got. I don't feel like returning anything. So, I already got this one in white. I just need to get the two set of these pans. Oof, this is what they look like. And then I'm gonna get the white too. I'm about to ask them if they got the white in the back because I don't feel like going to another location. And then I'm also, I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab a Dutch oven too, because I just really want one. And it's $75, 40% off for this bigger size. And then I also have the 20% 20, um, 20 off coupon. Okay, just found the fry pan set. Here we go. So 
let's recap. We have two frying pans. This is a, I want to say it's an eight and a 10. And then we also have, oh no, this is an eight. So this must be maybe a 10 and a 12 or a 12 and a 14. I don't know, but we got three different frying pans in the white and gold. And then we have the stock pot and this is what it looks like. And all this is 30% off. And then we also have this really big, like, uh, what's this thing called? It's a cover pan, but this thing is huge. This whole 7.6 quarts. So I bought that the other day. And so now we have a full cookware set. And also bought this. I actually have it in the car. I could return it and get the white. Should I? Hmm, maybe I will, since I have it with me. Just go ahead and grab it. Put that back, get the white instead. But then I'll get a baking sheet and not an actual dish. Nah, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. All right, y'all. So that's everything that I needed. Got my full cookware set. I'm happy with the way these look, so I think I'd rather have these. Yeah, I think I would rather have these than have the tasty set to set raws just because I prefer the color of these and it's like fits my aesthetic. So, y'all, this little pan is 1050 with 40%. The frying pans are 40% off. So that white, the little one, this one, 1050, 40% off. So they're cheap. Just know that they are 40% off. Everything's 40% off, including the cast iron skillet and the Dutch, I mean, the, the including the Dutch oven. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out. I think that's all I need from here. I'm about to get out of here because I don't need to keep looking because I'm going to find more stuff to buy. And that is not the move. But yeah. Let's go check out. I'll tell y'all what the, what the final total ends up being. Alright, I got y'all propped up in the trunk. I just checked out. And I just want to tell y'all how much everything was because it was a really good deal. So, uh, everything together was $89.04. The small frying pan was $7.20. The double frying pans were $19.20. The uh, Dutch oven was $36. And this um, stock pot was $21. So that, after tax, brought it to $89. And that's a good deal, y'all. But then I just was like, thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I don't have a sauce pot. <laughs> so now I'm like, should I go look on their website, see if I can find a stock pot? Um, at least one uh, it's not a huge deal because I don't do a lot of cooking like small amounts of food y'all know I got four kids my husband is always at least six of us in the house on any given day so I don't use sauce saucepans that much um, honestly I really don't use sauce I, don't, I really don't need one I don't have to have it because I don't uh, honestly I don't use them much I'm trying to think of the last time I used one and I'm drawing a blank. My keys at. Let me make sure I unlock my keys in the car. Ugh. Send the car back. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. It's a Marshalls right here. I'm gonna run in Marshalls and see what they have. And if I find any like nice inexpensive sauce pots maybe i can just add one and it won't you know break the bank and i think that'll be enough cookware for um my kitchen to start out with just to like get me going Hold this one for now. If we find something else, you can always switch it out. Okay, they don't have a lot. Like that was, I think the only saucepan I saw in here. So I think I'm gonna leave it. I, it's not. I don't think I want to pay thirty dollars for it. First of all, second, I just don't. Like, I don't need it to be cast iron. It's so daggone heavy. So, I think one cast iron pot is enough. Unless it's a, um, 
for like a skillet, like a grill skillet. I think that would be a good um, addition, like a cast iron grill skillet. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. All right, I'm really done with shopping for cookware. I'm over it. And honestly, I have a tendency to be obsessive about stuff like that. And I don't want to obsess over trying to find a sauce pot. So I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> and if I just like find that once I start cooking, I can't survive without a sauce pot, I can always go back and buy one. It doesn't have to like match perfectly with the rest of my cookware, though I would prefer that it did. But I don't think that they offer it. I don't think they have it. Um, I didn't see any gold ones. Maybe they will come out with it in the future. But right now, um, on their website they don't the only sauce pans they have are like grays and silvers so yeah and then another thing i just realized is that i need to get our hello fresh order put in by wednesday so i'm actually just looking at it right now making sure that what we have is what we actually want for the week because we're going to resume hello fresh delivery starting the monday after we move the 12th so I'm just looking at our HelloFresh box just to make sure that it's like what I want is in it. <laughs> One pan sweet and spicy cashew pork tacos. Sesame soy beef gold beef bowls. I don't know if I want that. Mustard soy salmon. Definitely want that. Um, and smoky chicken Caesar sandwiches. That sounds really good. I'm trying to see if it's something else I want to swap out that beef bowl for. And then I'm going to let it go and let it get delivered because I'm, I think I've already done this before, but I just wanted to make sure that what I had was actually what I wanted. The only other thing on here that I see that might be, oh, we could do the sweet chili and sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry instead of the other one. I think that would probably be better than the beef bowl. All right. So that's good. HelloFresh is set up for that first week so that after the weekend we'll get HelloFresh and then I won't have to like worry about groceries as much because we'll have meals for dinner at least. <laughs> 